Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today in the Crazy Baker Kitchen we're going to be doing flapjacks and we're going to be using this Whitworth mix and bake product in it. It's dark chocolate and cherry. I don't know if you've ever used this product before but this is a new one on me but we'll give it a go. In it it's got uh, cherry berries, dark chocolate, chunks, apple, and flamed raisins. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget guys, your recipe is below the video in the description. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. And for the recipe guys, you need 906 grams of oats, six, 126 grams of butter, 312 grams of caster sugar, 286 grams of Whitworth's mix and bake, and you want 120 grams of golden syrup. First thing guys you need is a pot to go on the hob, and what we're going to do first is pop our butter in and our golden syrup as you can see I haven't measured it and we'll get this onto the hob. This will just take a few minutes to melt down. The idea is to melt the butter and the syrup together and then we'll add in the caster sugar. It's almost there. And now we're going to add in our caster sugar. And all we do with this, guys, is dissolve it into the butter. Well, that's it, guys. You want a tray and you want it 40 centimetres by 29 centimetres. And you want some silicone paper or some baking parchment to fit. Right, guys, your mixture's ready. It's now melted down really, really well. So we'll get that off the hob. All right, now what we're gonna do is give it a good stir around. And now we're gonna add the mixture into the oats. Now all we're going to do is give this a really good stir around, get it all mixed in. You've probably seen some of my other flapjack recipes, whereas I've actually used the microwave to melt down the butter. Well that looks just right guys. Now we're ready to add the Whitworth's Mix and Bake. Now I'm going to save a bit of this to go on the top. So that should be enough just to pop on the top and we'll mix the rest in. Right then guys, we'll try it up. If you've got a bent tray like I have, Put a cloth down on your worktop. That stops it rocking about. What you need as well, guys, is a bowl of water and your small rolling pin. Now, what we're going to do is put this onto the tray.
And now we're gonna just spread it all out. So it's nice and evenly. It's my favorite, this is. I just love flapjack. Now do remember guys, this is still very, very hot. All right. Now we're gonna get our rolling pin and our water. And all we do is wash the rolling pin with water and just roll it out. And there you go. And the reason you do put water on the rolling pin is to stop the flapjack sticking to the rolling pin. Now with your bits that you had left, all we're going to do is just sprinkle them over the top. And once again, just get your rolling pin and just roll them in. Now guys, we will be baking this in an oven temperature of 170. And the baking time is around about 20 to 25 minutes. So if you like them a bit more softer, go for the 20 minutes. If you want them a little bit like a more a biscuity type, then leave it for the 25 minutes or a bit longer, depending on your oven temperature. Anyway, we'll get them into the oven. Well, I think the flapjack is ready. It's the cherry and chocolate. We'll get her out of the oven. That looks absolutely lush. Now guys, we're gonna to wanna to leave this to cool down for at least one to two hours because it is absolutely hot. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to cutting and tasting it. Well guys, the flapjacks have cooled down. This is the cherry and chocolate and it's looking really, really nice. Anyway, we'll get them out of the tray and cut them up. First things you want to do, guys, is cut off the edges. This just makes it a little bit neater. Right, the next thing we're gonna do, we need to get 20 out of this slice. So we'll find the middle. And find the middle again of that piece. And then the middle again. So that gives you four parts. So we'll take uh, around about two inches down this side. Take that one off. Usually when I'm doing this job, I've got a set of wheels, but obviously they're in the bakery and I'm at home. So I'm on the same level as you guys. Guess them up. Right, we'll go for the center of this one. Straight down. But there again, I've been doing this for years, so if I can't get it right now, it'd be a poor job. And there we go, guys. That looks a lovely 
flapjack. I'm just looking forward to trying these. Well, it's as simple as that, guys. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, guys, your recipe is below the video in the description. And also, do check out my playlists on my YouTube channel because I've got around about 120 video recipes there for you guys. And also, you can find more recipes over on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. And we'll see you again very shortly. Laters!